All right, my friends. Well, we closed on the house today. Literally not even been uh, two hours maybe. And we finally got the key. I'm gonna walk you through the bar. I'm going to try some uh, Stag Junior. Uh, I've never had the 17. I'm gonna pop it. Of course, my first drink in the, in the new bar is gonna be Stag. So I'm gonna kind of walk around, kind of give you a, just kind of a general tour and kind of give you an idea of what the plan is. Won't be a super long video, just kind of the before. I don't know how much of this I will put on YouTube. It depends on how popular this is. I've got some comments that were like, they don't, people don't care about the bar. They don't want to hear about the house. So I may transition some of this to Instagram. I may do both. You never know. Uh, it just depends on where people do. And more for me to kind of just show the journey of turning this into something really cool. So uh, I'll come over here first. There's a little alcove here. This will probably uh, be a, a workstation of some kind. Maybe actually do the... Uh, I guess technically, uh, like if I'm gonna actually do any real carpentry work over here. The plan will be to extend this out to about right here. So I'll put some more floor joist out here and this part in here will be the bar area. Um, I mean, I've got some great walls here. <clears throat> I think I'll, uh, I'm gonna, I got a guy coming to do spray insulation today uh, to, to give me a quote on it. So I gotta uh, wait on him to do that. So I'll take all this wood down, have him spray. You know the this area for sure and then you know it goes all the way up to the top because we're in the south and it'll get hotter than hades in here so but the plan will be this will be the back of the bar here i'll have i'm going to build some wooden shelves back up a little bit here it'll go all the way to the ceiling and then maybe shelving to about right here depending on how much uh bourbon or whiskey i can i can get maybe get me a barrel put it there and then you kind of saw the makings of the of, of the of the bar uh i put a picture on instagram I'll, I'll build like a little pallet bar right here and it'll probably come out about halfway or so and it'll be movable i'll be able to move it around and then i'll come over here and i'll have a i have a couch it's going to be a tight fit right here but it'll be right here and then if you guys have seen my other videos i have a table that has um the map of uh i think beijing on it or something and uh I'll sit there and that'll kind of be where I can relax. And then I'll have a, I'll put a, I'm going to mount a television up here. And then this will kind of be, it's also going to be a workspace for me. I do IT work. So when I have to work from home, I'll come out here and uh, I'm going to take this shelf down. It's great. I'll probably put this shelf uh, up on the other side. I'm going to put a split unit right here and they're supposed to be pretty quiet. A split unit will do air and heat. You know, I want to be able to come out here in the winter and uh, be able to protect my whiskey and my computer equipment. So that's it kind of in broad strokes of what the plan is. Uh, you know, anybody else has any ideas. Now the roof, I think I'm gonna to try to put some type of tan up there. There's a lot of interesting electrical work up here. Uh, I'm gonna to have to, I have done some electrical work. I'm probably gonna take a lot of this down. I don't, I'm not crazy about the lighting um, that's in here. So we'll have to do that. So first project will be to get this place sprayed with blown insulation. There's a lot up there. That fan doesn't work. I'll need to replace that. Uh, but I think once we get it watertight and there's some little bit of rotten wood down there. I may have to replace a piece of that wood down there. Uh, I thought about putting the pink insulation up, but I just don't know that it would be enough. I want a moisture barrier in here as well. So, all right, well, let me, uh, let me get over here and pull out this, uh, stag junior. This is the 128.7. So this is batch, uh, 17. I'm going to have to open it. So you're going to see me struggle to open it. Um, as, as we do uh, when we try to do these things. Uh, I'll sit over here and... All right. The most embarrassing part of, of doing this, I don't know if you can see this or not here, so, all right. And my experience with uh, Stag in the past has always been that uh, once the initial pour is done, it does, uh, oh, that's a great pop. I hope that, hope you got that on the camera. So, all right, let me get you, let me get a good healthy pour here. Put the cap back in because there's a lot of wasp and mosquitoes already bleeding. So that's a, uh, that's fun. So, all right, got great color on it. Loving the color. Love the, love the backdrop on here some. So, all right, let me get a, a little quick pour on this. I've noticed that when you have this, um, stag like every couple minutes it kind of changes so i'm gonna take my first sip here oh wow man that stag i love it 
it's amazing to me uh, uh, how much tobacco is in there. Uh, it really, uh, just tobacco and leather, this has kind of got more of a, I'd say a heavier fruit, maybe heavy fruit forward, kind of like a, I want to say I've got apricot on the brain, but like a stone uh, kind of a fruit. I'm not going to wait two minutes before I try my next sip here. Mm. Man, that's pretty good. Um, I've been saving this batch 17. I've had it for um, about uh, four or five months for a special occasion. I can't think of a better uh, uh, reason than doing that. So I think that I'm going to, I think when I do, when I get to 5,000 subscribers, I'm about 500 away from 5,000. Uh, we should be fully moved in here. I'll have most of my stuff in here. Hopefully we'll have insulation sprayed uh, so that it can be in here. I'll, I'll probably do a live from here. And I have a sample of, I think the 18 and I've got uh, most of the 22s and most of the 23s. Uh, maybe I can find a 24 by then, or at least get a sample when it comes out the 24A. And I may sample them all. It'd be small samples because that'd be a, a lot to do. But maybe do that and do uh, as a celebration, kind of review them uh, and do that. So I will kind of walk through again. Any ideas people have, please put them in there. Uh, I have a blank slate. Pretty much I can do anything I want to do. I'm looking at, I don't think I really said, I'm looking at maybe putting uh, 10 squares up top uh, just to kind of help with... Uh, noise and uh, you know maybe some of the reflective light um, i'm thinking about building some shelves that are going to be uh, kind of have a pole that comes up and then maybe some um, uh, some wood slabs of some kind uh, you know with unfinished edge uh, my little brother he uh, cuts trees you know on the side and i, I think he's gonna get me any wood i want so that'll be the plan for that it's just kind of come in get some wood build some shelves you know, feel free to send me an email. My email's in the in the description. So is my uh, so is the Instagram. If you want to send me a message on Instagram, but maybe some ideas of what you think I can do. So kind of thinking bar wall here, cut over to about halfway or so, probably to that outlet, and uh, maybe put a barrel there, or actually probably put a barrel right. I probably put a barrel right here. I'm hoping to get one from like Old Dominic. I'd love to have a. Uh, you know, a pappy barrel, but you know, those are crazy expensive. So put a barrel there. Maybe uh, I'm looked at uh, cutting the barrel out and putting some bottles in there. And I have a small little uh, love seat that's not very pretty that my wife hates that turns into a bed. So I can pull it out here and have a bed out here if I need to, if it get things get too rough for me in one night. Like I said, big screen TV, split unit, kind of a shelf to do these kind of videos. I can come over. Hopefully I'll have the bar built the bar will be fairly easy i just got to get a jigsaw and kind of cut it up and and put it together and stain it so I'm, I'm interested in colors whatever else you know like i said light me up if you don't like this uh this content it's not something you're even interested in and you know, if there's not many views and nobody cares then i'll uh i'll just do it for myself which is just my way of uh, kind of showing what i've got there so anyway let me get another good outside i've rambled long enough so got a good place for doing shop work. I hang all my tools up over here. These walls are, can we can do whatever we want to do. May have uh, more shelves and more things along those lines. Uh, that, that top up there is probably going to have like Christmas decorations and whatnot out there. <laughs> so it won't have uh, too much. I don't know. I worry about the weight being a load bearing. I guess those are pretty good. But like I said, my plan will be to extend this out to where, about where this, this is. And then if we get the split unit and it's still not enough in the hottest and coldest part of the year, we may put some type of faux or temporary covering right here. We may do something with curtains or I even may, may build a wall. Um, I have a garage door here that we're going to probably take the, um, I'm going to, I'm going to get doors and put in front of it. The garage door will stay, but that would give it even a little bit of security out here. So, all right, let me go back over here and uh, get another, Sip of this stag. I'm gonna just kind of sit over here and contemplate my navel and uh, think about what the plans are. And thank you guys that have been supportive and reaching out to me. I can't tell you how much it means to me. Really, we thought this wasn't gonna happen. We were super worried that um, it, that the deal fell through. And we've already we've been leasing for four years because we we sold our house initially during COVID. And where we are, it's very hard to buy a house. And we canceled our lease, and we were gonna be I don't know we we're homeless. So um, like I said, not been many videos. Uh, I do plan to go to tonight to go to um, uh, 
sometime tonight uh, or maybe early in the morning to Yorkshire. So I'll be there for their bottle drop, which will be exciting. They got a lot of fun stuff if, if things work out. But let me get another sip of stag here. Mm. Man. Nothing beats stag. I don't care what anybody says. I know everybody calls me a big tater, but I love it. It is fantastic. So, all right, guys, Slanja, thank you for all your support. Thank you for my friends. Um, yes, there will be some uh, bar talk. I mean, bar talk, but you know, I'll still continue to do my bourbon hunts. Um, you know, in the afternoon or in the morning. And actually, I do it at lunch. And just so everyone knows, because I've gotten a lot of grief from people. I do it on my lunch break. I go out, I shoot the video, I edit it, and it goes up the same day. So my videos are same day, 99% of the time. I shoot the video and it goes up. So that'll happen pretty much all the time. So um, any deviation from that, I, I always will say in the video, this is from a couple weeks ago, or this is when I was at a distillery or whatever. So, all right, guys. Well, uh, Solange and uh, I think I need to come up with the name of the place, too. Um, I'm tossing around uh, uh, Major Zero's bar at the end of the globe and if you've been a if you've been a follower from the beginning you know that i had a globe at the beginning and uh, that's all that alcohol would hold all my alcohol so uh so the bar at the end of the globe is kind of a, a a joke and that'll be out here too somewhere somewhere i don't know where we'll put it but you'll probably hold glassware so all right slanja and uh thanks my friends <laughs>